Hey, that's a really smooth shave you got there. Gee, thanks. I use Edge Pro Gel. Hey, guys, could we? Nine, nine, Edge has nine different formulas. Really? Wow, your face is so soft. That's Edge for sensitive skin. Next time, use your own can of Edge. That was my can. What's not? Locker room's that way for a can of Edge. Boy, I can use a close shave. Everyone's skin is different, so Edge Pro Gel comes in nine different formulas to meet your individual shaving needs. Edge, save your skin. Yeah! This NFL Films production is a presentation of the National Football League. NFL Team Highlight Films are brought to you by Edge Pro Gel. Save your skin. Well, today is the defending Super Bowl champions, the Rams. With a Super Bowl victory for the Rams! Making their 24th playoff appearance against the Saints, still looking for their first playoff win. This is the Super Season ends! For the Super Bowl victory for the Rams! If you look at the Rams and they've got people like Kurt Warner, Marshall Falk, Tory Holt, and Isaac Bruce. Kurt Warner, Marshall Falk, Tory Holt, Isaac Bruce. But today is the first step to the champions again. One, two, three. Ah! The silver shine of the Lombardi Trophy had cast its shadow with a question. How could the Rams top the most exciting season in NFL history? In 2000, the season had changed. The timing wasn't there. And the answer is that nothing gold can stay. Ain't nobody quitting out here. Nobody quitting. Hey, they out there saying we don't want it, man. We don't give up. Let's go. Greatest comeback ever, baby. But the team with the most heart also happened to have the most explosive offense. A fast and furious comeback was launched. The Rams reeled off 21 unanswered points in the fourth quarter. On the verge of one of the greatest comebacks in playoff history, the only thing the world champions couldn't beat was the clock. The tale of the 2000 St. Louis Rams is one stolen by time, twisted with a little struggle, and a whole lot of strength. We're the best team in this league. Let's show everybody the game. We are so hungry. We gotta get back on track. Finish it. Week one, Monday night. The spotlight shone on the world champion St. Louis Rams. It was a season opener swelling with excitement. This is a boomer. Hakeem at his own 15, cuts right to the 20. 25, 30, now he's in open field. Hakeem, midfield, 45, 40, he has scored. The stage was set for a Monday night showdown that turned into a Monday night show, starring the Rams offense. Oz Hakim and Marshall Falk were the first to entertain the sold-out crowd in the Transworld Dome. That's a one-play drive. We saw that a few times last year. So explosive, so many weapons. Live television started looking like it was already in syndication as Hakim scored again on the same pattern as Falk. Oz Hakim, he and Tori Holt had an up-close conversation the final 10 yards. Kurt Warner and Mike Martz had an up-close and conversation. When a fourth quarter one-point Denver lead put ABC in the running for best drama. Kurt Warner will hand to Holcomb. He'll bang left side, touchdown ran. Robert Holcomb fights his way in from a yard out. It was a wild shootout with a made-for-TV ending. That was nothing short of awesome. I couldn't be more proud of this football team. I tell you what, I love you. You played your hearts out, and, and we got 15 more, and we're going to make a heck of a run at this thing. Y'all be proud of yourself with this effort tonight. Hold Mike, on, Mike, on, Mike. the boys on. gave me something to give to you with all their oh. love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
Seattle's gray skies loomed over the Rams one week after Mike March's first win as head coach. Defensive tenacity prevented the Seahawks from scoring early, but the natives of the Northwest soon soared in their cloudy climate. And he just went 82 yards for a touchdown for man, Seattle. Man, oh man. An offensive mastermind took over. Kurt Warner executed March's game plan with a career-high 35 completions to an array of receivers. Gives it to Robert Holcomb. Yeah. He's in. Touchdown Rams. He spins his way into the end zone. Nice job by Marshall. The score still tied. St. Louis battled back the only way they know how to, with an offensive outburst. The Rams became the first team in history to score over 30 points in eight straight games. Even the defense contributed six points. Oh! oh he's again. Devin Bush picks it up. He will score. Touchdown yes. Rams! With less than two minutes to play, a clutch catch by Torrey Holt on third and 17 set up a Jeff Wilkins field goal for the victory. Clock shows zero. This one's over. Back in St. Louis, the Marshall plan was reinstated. Falk scored three touchdowns while the Rams registered over 30 points again. As for Kurt Warner, it was another game of throwing for over 300 yards. Isaac Bruce was on the receiving end for 188 yards and a touchdown. Yard bomb. Looks downfield, fires for the end zone, complete. Touchdown, Rams, Tony Horn. That's touchdown. his first career touchdown. We exactly. talked about he didn't have a catch in the regular season last year. Dre Bly and Dexter McLeon had key picks to hold San Francisco to just seven points in the second half. Introducing Grant Wistrom. We go out today and we beat him up just like we did last week. Number 98 beat him up every week and he led the team in sacks with 11. Big series here, we gotta get a stop. An inspiration to the entire defense, Wistrom had career highs in tackles and sacks. Another defensive dynamo was number 59, London Fletcher. The hometown favorite broke a franchise record for tackles in a season with an astounding 193. He could run down the most mobile and strongest of quarterbacks. In week 11, Fletcher made a crucial goal line stop to deny the Giants a touchdown. He also had his first career interception. The man named London had offenses across the league falling down. St. Louis's intensity rose in week four with a visit back to the site of Super Bowl 34. The Rams' defense racked up eight sacks, two interceptions, and two fumble recoveries. The Falcons' scoring attempts were crushed by this revitalized defensive attack. Kurt Warner threw for 336 yards and four touchdown passes. Most impressive, but standard practice for St. Louis's trigger man. The highest form of flattery must have ruffled some feathers because a flustered dirty bird then fumbled. Now a loose football as Keith Lyles got it in the clear. At midfield, to the 40, to the 30. He's weaving his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Keith Lyle. 
The Rams' uncanny ability to do something awesome every time they had the ball led to another victory. Torrey Holt helped pace the offensive explosion with three receptions, 189 yards, and two touchdowns. Bird Warner unloads quickly. It is caught by Torrey Holt. He's behind the defense. At the 50. He's at the 40. It's a foot rate. To the 30. 25 20. He will score. Touchdown, Rams. Unreal, Torrey Holt. Holt's 63 yards per catch average against Atlanta broke an NFL record. And in 2000, Holt led the league in receiving yards. He's in the open field. He's clear in the Buccaneers Go. territory. It's Go. the 30. It's a Go. Play. Yeah! What a play by Torrey Holt! Great plays, too. The San Diego Chargers were in desperate need of a crossing guard when they came to St. Louis. The best offense in the NFL was a semi-truck barreling down on the Chargers' attempt to get safely across the street towards victory. The Rams scored on every possession, and if the number 158.3 doesn't ring a bell, don't worry. It chimes sweetly to Kurt Warner. It's the perfect quarterback rating, and Warner became the only passer to attain it twice. It's not supposed to happen like this, Jake. Oh. It's not supposed to yes, be this it is. easy yes. for an offense to score like this. <laughs> and the conductor was Mr. Martz, whose sweet symphony featured a horn solo in week seven that lasted 103 measures and climaxed in a touchdown. Come on, he's the 5, 10, 15, 20, breaks the tackle, 20 on his feet, up to 30, no sideline across the yeah. 40. He's in the Falcons territory and he will score. Yeah. A 103 yard return by Tony Holmes. A well-composed defense with a cornerback who was second in the NFL in interceptions kept the melody smooth. He's reaching there, grabbed that ball, pulled away from it. Heck of a job by number 21, Dexter McLeon. The Rams remained undefeated, and with an NFL record four two-point conversions, it was twice as nice. It was tough today. But we pulled out the win. Got to go to Kansas City next week. Another tough one. Got to get the dub, though, man. Week 8 in Missouri begged the question, who is number one in the state? The mighty Rams faced the Chiefs in a contest staged like an Elizabethan tragedy. A 20-point Kansas City lead in the first quarter alone signified a great man's imminent downfall. When Kurt Warner did leave the game with a broken finger, March looked to back up Trent Green to pull things together. Green met the challenge and immediately led an eight-play, 87-yard drive that culminated in a touchdown. He completed two more touchdown passes to put the Rams back in the game. Unfortunately, St. Louis still met with calamity in Kansas City. Victory was seized by the bounce of the ball and all the Rams could do was watch in despair. Only a couple weeks. Defense gonna do a great job. Not worried about it one bit. 
much as I'd like to be out there. Deserves the opportunity, they'll do fine. Filling in for Warner, Green tried to keep it simple. And that meant finding Marshall Falk. With 1999's league MVP on the sideline, Falk's four touchdowns put him in the running for the 2000 MVP. Let's go shut him down and then come on back over here and hang out, okay? The defense slammed the 49ers and slammed the door on their seventh win. Good play, defense! Good job. Good job. Following a loss at home, the Rams were in New York to face the Giants. St. Louis' season resembled a teeter-totter with two hinges out of commission. However, the Rams tore up the Big Apple with big plays. Green connected with four different receivers for four touchdowns. Torrey Holtz got it, and the Rams have another touchdown. Easy. Scoring made simple at the Rams' all smiles. Yeah. Ricky Prohl, number 87, got a touchdown for the Rams. Isaac Bruce contributed to the thrilling victory with his 50th career touchdown reception. Isaac's open, and he's got a touchdown, Easy. Rams. Good job by Isaac. Bruce led the team in receptions and tied a team record for most 100-yard receiving games in a career. He is a playmaker with a paranormal ability to get the ball in his hands. Isaac's got it. What a catch. He'll score. Touchdown win. Unbelievable. Well done by number 80. The Rams look to have their successful season handed back to them three weeks later with Kurt Warner's return. Unfortunately, a two-game losing streak turned into three. Back home the following week, the Rams were determined to return to their winning ways. We'll see the old Rams today. The time had come to right a season for St. Louis to discharge their many weapons. Marshall Falk broke a team record with four rushing touchdowns and brought the Bob and Reed back to life. They cannot stop us from running the ball. We gotta keep on running. Falk continued to weave right through the Vikings. The Rams put a halt to Minnesota's four-game winning streak and put the swagger back in their step. Welcome back, world champions. Okay. Jim Hannafan's offensive line made Week 15's win all the more comprehensible. Led by all pros Orlando Pace and Adam Timmerman, the men in the trenches opened running lanes for touchdowns and did not allow the Vikings to record a single sack. With every snap of the ball in 2000, this powerful unit protected and prevented. With such an effective wall of strength paving the way for big plays, St. Louis led the NFL in total offense. Again off the right side, that's where Ryan Tucker, Adam Timmerman, and Andy McCollum are. A huge hole and nothing but daylight. You could have run through that one, Sebi. Nice job of blocking. Everything went very smoothly. He's in. Touchdown, Rams. Big guys, I love them. I love them. They're great people, great people. The defending Super Bowl champion Rams in danger of becoming the 10th champion of the Super Bowl era to fail to make the playoffs the next year. Got one more chance, get back in this race. Did someone say race? Because Marshall Falk was off and running in the Rams regular season finale. Actually, he came back twice. Green will hand to 
Marshall, he runs left behind James Hodges. He's inside the five, he'll score, touchdown, Marshall Fogg. A nine yard scamper around left end. Brooks from the shotgun delivers over the middle, and oh, is Keith Poole hammered. Maybe down for the count. A well-timed hit and a very legal hit. First, the Rams' defense went after the Saints. And then, the NFL's top-ranked offense went to work. And he's out of bounds, just shy of the goal line, about the one-half-yard line. With a win secured, a playoff spot was still uncertain until the Rams received word of a Detroit loss 1,000 miles away. Some call it the bounce of the ball. For the 2000 St. Louis Rams, it was simply bad luck. They fell to the Saints one week later in their only playoff appearance. And yet, these are the faces of fortune. The man with the plan and the men who will carry it out. The NFL's 1999 and 2000 most valuable players. This year's MVP is a running back who needs no introduction. Every Sunday, he paints his masterpiece on a 100-yard rectangular canvas. I tend to think running backs are artists. When you get to set things up and set up your blocks and, and pick the right hole and make people miss, it's very, very creative. Sometimes I amaze myself by the things that happen. Trent Green will hand to Marshall, runs up the middle, cuts right. He's going to get a first down and more. Go, baby. He's in the clear, across the 30, Go, baby. across the 40, cuts back inside yeah. with a first down to the Rams' 46-yard line. It's our guy. I'm out of superlatives. That's I am out guy. of superlatives. Woo. He's amazing. Wow. And he has now broken the NFL record for touchdowns in a season. That's his 26. The guy is something. The guy is really something. You guys know you give Marshall a little seam, he'll take it. We'll keep getting first downs. It's first down. Marshall will drop down. He's inside the 10, running nice. the up. Marshall That's the beauty of the NFL. You have different people that do different things. You got different kind of receivers, different kind of quarterbacks. You have different kind of leaders. And I'm a different kind of running back. And the St. Louis Rams are a different kind of football team. When faced with adversity, they overcome it. When presented with an NFL record, they break it. In 2001, the Rams will take back what is rightfully theirs. They will see the title that is positioned prominently high up in the trans world dome and go chasing after another one. St. Louis will be getting back to business. Edge Pro Gel presents the St. Louis Rams ultimate performance of 2000. In week five's win over the Chargers, the Rams' incredible offense scored on every possession. Kurt Warner had a perfect quarterback rating with touchdown passes to Isaac Bruce, Torrey Holt, and Marshall Falk. These boys are going to be the track meet. That's good here. stuff. It's not supposed to happen like this, Jack. Oh. It's not supposed to yes, be this it is. easy yes. for an offense to score like this. Touchdown Rams. Unbelievable. Edge Pro Gel is the official shave gel of the NFL. Save your skin. How you like that? I drove, uh, drove through the night. I drove 15 hours from Chicago, picked up my buddies in St. Louis. They're wilder, yeah. The music is real nice. <laughs> what are we? <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hot Jeff's <just> wife. <laughs> this NFL Films production has been brought to you by the National Football League.
The NFL is online at www.nfl.com.